wonderful weekend in Fort Worth, Texas. How many is glad you came tonight? Let me see. You don't need Billy Burke to touch you to get healed. This meetings have been set aside. Miracles on the mountain. Revival capital of the world. In 1970, Kenneth was flying back here to the airport, had his headphones on, and he heard a voice come in through the headphones. Revival capital of the world. So he, he heard it up there close to heaven. Can you say amen? amen? And then it was three years later that he heard this is the place to do it. Something has been going on around here. Something is escalating and building. The miracles are happening way before tonight, but tonight we just want to give it a little bit of lighter fluid. Come on, somebody. But, but you have to make this your moment. You have to do something quickly. The name of the Lord is the high tower of the righteous run. Too many times a word of knowledge is called that and someone says, well, I don't know if that's me or not. Take a wild guess. <laughs> What's it going to hurt to get something that you're not sure of, right? Just, uh, I don't know if that's my word or not, but I'm going to go get it. Come on, say amen. amen. But so valuable tonight as you move towards him and you allow him to heal you in the seat. I will not be disappointed. If you come up here and say, sorry, I'm already healed. I don't need your prayers. I'll be happy for you. We all be happy for you. Because we're expecting things to disappear tonight. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, give him. Oh. Every hand up all over the place. Give me a little bit more volume, please, if you can if that's possible. Holy Spirit, we thank you so tonight for this moment. And when we say come, it's not because we don't realize you're in us, but we need that extra power in this corporate space. You were in the, the disciples in that upper room. You breathed on them to get the Holy Ghost. But then you came into the room. You were in the room, you were in them, and revival broke out. God, we pray for disease to get healed here tonight. For people to leave pain free, cancer free, Alzheimer free, paralysis to be healed, missing body parts to grow back. Oh God, we ask you for an avalanche of the supernatural right here, right now. Now in your privacy, put your hands high and just make a covenant right now that you will do like Mary said to the servants, whatever he asked you to do, whatever, whatever tonight that may be you're facing and you're fighting and you're tired of doctoring, you're tired of medicating. Nothing you have may be terminal tonight, but it's taken out the quality of your life. Things aren't the same anymore. You don't have the same level of energy. Tonight's your night. Tonight's your night. Say it. If God's going to heal anybody on planet Earth tonight, it's going to be me. Give him a mighty praise. Come on. Come on, a mighty praise. You may be seated just for a moment tonight. So good to have you all here. Many of you came from distances, and we're expecting these next three, four days to be tailor-made just for you. Let me tell you about a recent miracle that we just had, and I'm always amazed at these miracles because they all have a different flavor. Some of them re relate to terminal disease, and some of them relate to Alzheimer's. And, but this one happened outside of Atlanta, and I say this because this could relate to you tonight. And we were in a church outside of Atlanta, and God, the, God began to heal people. And 
There was a word of knowledge that someone was being healed of scoliosis. That's curvature of the spine. And uh, I missed have been maybe five minutes later. One of the leading superintendents, I believe it was for the Church of God, he was there with his daughter. They came for his daughter to be healed, and she had, she had the worst case of scoliosis I have ever seen. I'm sure there may be worse, but I mean, you could set a cup of coffee on her hip here. That's how curved she was. It was pretty bad. And he brought her up, and he told me who he was, and he said, we, we brought my daughter, and she's in a lot of pain, and look at her. And so she lifted up her little blouse there, and it was really, you know, it's pretty heart-wrenching to know what people live with every day while they're standing in faith, while they're believing. And I looked, and I said, okay, here we go. You ready? Are you ready to go? And she said, yeah, I'm ready. And I looked at the superintendent. He said, amen, I'm ready. And I never touched her. Power hit her. She's on the ground. Okay, now pay attention to this. So she gets up off the floor, and she's screaming, daddy, daddy, the pain's gone. I was like, hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay, let's look, let's look. Her hip had gone, you know, perfectly straight. The bones moved. Everything, you know. So everybody is absolutely celebrating the, the miracle, right? Okay, fo follow with me. So the church was, you know, in a great set of meetings that time. And so the pastor said, would you come back, you know, next month? We'd like to do this at least one more time. I said, sure, I'll come back next month. Because, I mean, there was, it was just happening there. And so the next month I went back and the, the bishop and his wife came to me with the girl. And they had x-rays. Now, pay attention to this. This is so neat. It's really neat. You know it's neat or I wouldn't be telling you, right? I mean... He says, hey, we, we're back. He said, you remember my daughter? I said, of course I remember. It was only a month ago. I remember that. And hey, how, how are you doing? And, <laughs> behave, behave. <laughs> behave. And I said, how are you doing? And she says, I'm just praising him. I'm just loving him. All the pain's still gone. And look, Pastor Bailey, my hip is nothing has happened. And, and, the, and the dad looks at me and says, yeah, but we got a problem. And I said, what's the problem? He says, these x-rays. I said, what are you talking about? I said, your daughter's here pain-free. She's straight. There's no more. I can't even see that. Don't take a, you know, a genius to figure this out. He said, but look at the recent x-rays. And ladies and gentlemen, when I looked at the x-rays, Pastor George, that's amazing. I looked at these x-rays, and everything on that x-ray had her bones still the same. Now, I'm in front of a packed-out house, and he's wanting an explanation why this x-ray don't match the woman standing there. You think this is an easy job. I know you do. And it startled me. I said, okay, so, I mean, here again, I'm not an x-ray technician, but I could understand that. It was very clear on those, that x-ray where the indentation and the, the back and the spine, and it was all there. I said, but you didn't take these. He said, yeah, we took these after the healing. I said, you took these after she got touched here? He said, yeah, because we were so excited. We couldn't wait till you come back. We wanted to show you. Hey, we got proof. But he said, now I don't know. <laughs> I, said, I said, she's standing right here in the flesh. So I interviewed her to the dad. I said, do you have any pain? She said, no. He knows I don't have any pain. Let me see. You're straight. Yeah, I'm straight. He said, I know all that. He said, but why don't these x-rays match the body? And I said, Lord, help me here. <laughs> Here's what he said. He said, tell the dad that the x-rays haven't caught up to the healing. <laughs> That's why, that's why you got to be ultra careful whenever you rely on what you see outside of what you see written in that scripture. You know what I'm talking about? And I thought that was so amazing that sometimes we go back and the x-ray or the, the whatever, the thing that's supposed to confirm the miracle works against it. So you got to be careful that you don't fully comprehend. Know what's happening in you. Know tonight that cataracts are going to go. Know that the blind eyes are going to open tonight. Know, you know, and and how, can, how can that be a lie against you if you knew how you felt when you came in? He's here to do anything tonight. Amen. I said, he's here to do anything tonight. 
I was with our pastor friend in Miami having a big seafood dinner after a big meeting down there in Miami, and they brought out a whole big pile of uh, crab claws from Joe's Crab House, great place in Miami to get crab claws. So he said to me, why don't you pray over the food? And I said, sure. And I said, I feel bad, though. He said, why do you feel bad? I said, all these crabs gave their life for us tonight. <laughs> he said, are you kidding me? He said, don't you know anything about crabbing? I said, what are you talking about? He said, they take one leg off, and they throw the other crab with one leg back in the ocean. I said, I never heard of such a thing. He said, well, they'll grow another leg. I mean to tell you, when he told me that, I thought, what? <laughs> it hit me like, you mean crabs just grow legs like that? And we're higher than the crabs? Yeah. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! You have to break out of just getting prayer yeah. and think that that's the most amazing thing. I got prayer. Yeah, I went to the meeting. What happened? I got some prayer. You know, you, you got to get manifest minded. Right. Over these next three or four days, you got to begin to think, you know what? This is it. This is my Alamo. I'm making a stand. Yeah. I've had so much prayer. Oh, come on. All the people in heaven are jealous of me. Come on. It's so very important that you understand that it's the manifestation that matters. Come on, say, the manifestation that matters. Manifestation. We was in Pittsburgh, man comes in a wheelchair, could not walk. We didn't have a bad back or bad feet, he couldn't walk. His spine had been done in, he was in a wheelchair for 20 years. 20 years. And so I walked over to him, I said, how you doing tonight, sir? And he said, I'm doing great. I said, are we going to walk tonight? He said, well, I come for some prayer. I said, okay, then we walk. Well, I, I want prayer. I said, okay, but then we're going to walk. Is that right? Billy, you're embarrassing me. I said, excuse me? He said, I came for prayer. I said, well, did you read the sign? This is a miracle service. <laughs> did you read? We don't have regular prayers here. We pray, we expect. He said, please, you are embarrassing me. I said, I don't want to embarrass you. I want you to walk. So I put my hand down on both sides of the wheelchair. I said, listen, I'm not here to embarrass you. If you want me to back off, I'll back off. But this place is packed. And I'm going to get very busy. I said, so I'm going to say it again. Do you want to walk? He said, I can't walk. I said, well, now I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you a deal. I'm going to count to three and you stand. He said, don't you understand? I can't stand. I can't walk. I came for prayer. Can you give me a prayer? I said, you already have enough prayer. You don't need any more prayer. You need to stand up when I tell you to stand up. He said, I would if I could, but I can't. I said, that was before tonight. <laughs> Come on, say the next time, <laughs> which is this time, <laughs> can be my time. <laughs> You've got to quit bringing that last time, fast forward, start thinking this is a new moment. A new miracle moment. Yeah. So I said, okay, here we go. I said, here we go. I said, oh, is there, you're going to, I'm going to, I said, I'm, come on. I just want you to stand. Don't be you running around here. Just stand. So I, I took that wheelchair. I shook it, kind of to three. He jumped up out of that wheelchair. Now watch this. Wait, his legs were shaking, and he just began to say these amazing words. I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> oh, my God, I don't believe this at all. I don't believe it. I said, okay, I know you don't. You borrowed some. That's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> I said, come on, then. What do you want to do? He said, I want to walk. I said, well, walk. He said, but I can't walk. I said, I know, I know. <laughs> but just try. Pretty soon he's walking across the front of the church. He's looking at the whole place. I don't believe this. I, I can't do this. I know, but you're doing it, aren't you? <laughs> do not, do not get so comfortable with being treated and sustained with things that you don't think they can't ever go away. In a moment. Pray for a girl in Fort Myers. She fell on the stage because she came up for a neck condition. She's laying on the stage. Her green pant leg slipped up, and I could see that she had braces, metal braces on her legs. I said, how are you doing down there, sweetheart? She said, oh, my 
my God, my neck doesn't hurt. I'm healed. My neck doesn't hurt. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I said there, I said, is there anything else you want? I'm looking at braces. She don't even know that I'm looking at them. And she, because I think when the car's up on the rack, fix everything. Come on. <laughs> right? Right? Oh, come on. Woo. You know, and I, I said, so you, 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 and I was kind of playing with her a little bit. I said, so, because you lose touch with your needs. What becomes common to you becomes very invisible. And you get used to diabetes. You get used to pain medication. You get used to a neck brace at nighttime or traction at home. You know, you find the good church. They love you anyhow. Come on, say, they love me anyhow. They love me anyhow. And you hear about faith. You learn faith, but you don't move in faith. And so I said to her, I said, hey, I said, are you sure there's nothing else? She said, no, I'm, you don't know what this means to be. I said, what about these? What, what about these? And she said, oh, those. <laughs> she said, well, uh, I said, well, why don't we do that too while, while you're here? Well, just, let's just take care of the neck, the braces, the legs. Let's just go for it tonight. A special. Say the how special. Come on. <laughs> See, you can get so comfortable, especially in a great church, and live off of somebody else's faith and never move into a new place in your faith. And she says, but, but I said, come on, do you want to do this? Because we don't, you know, we got people here. What do you want to do? So she scooted over to the side of the platform, took off her braces, and she sat there and she just did one of these. Oh, well, what if I fall? I said, then we'll catch you. We'll catch you if you fall. But I, I can't walk without these. My legs just give in. I've had these for 15 years. I said, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. If you can't experiment in front of Christians, if we don't have wiggle room for demonstration, Come on, if we can't walk on the water, sink a little bit, but get back up on the water. Come on. She took those braces off, and the next thing I know, she's running around the... Come on. On and on and on, and I don't want to tell too many stories because we have so many, because God has been so faithful. And that's why I love partnering here with Kenneth and Gloria and Pastor George, Terry, this whole team. They got the world in their sights, in their crosshairs. Take a good look at the way things are because it's all about to change. Oh, my. I mean, you ain't going to be able to buy a seat here pretty soon. Why? Because people are hungry for a move of God. Come on, people are hungry... And so here's Kenneth in 70, hearing Revival Capital 73, putting a stake in the ground here. And then all these years later, coming, as his ministry has flourished and gone global, now God's bringing him saying, okay, let's go back to Revival Capital. And the refocusing on what this place was meant to be whenever he first got that prophecy. I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, I believe there's going to be more people healed out of this very spot than we could ever imagine possible. Come on. Come on. But something in you has to become more manifest-minded than what you may be here tonight. Now, if you're here tonight and you're just kind of testing the waters and then later on you want to, you know, you want to pursue. But you, at some point in time, you've got to get rid of the Ben Gay. Your wife's sleeping with two men, you and Ben Gay. Come on, somebody. <laughs> At some point in time, now, we believe in everything for a season. I would never curse a wheelchair, never, or a cane or a crutch, never. But for a season, there may be a season you need to be on something like that, or even medication, if it keeps you, right, your heart beating, your lungs respirating. But there's got to be a point where you say, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wow, the blood's more powerful than this. His name is more powerful than this. 
You know, and at some point in time, you've got to begin to say that, hey, you know, I want to get more from the Calvary benefit package than what I am. And when, you, and when you begin to see people get healed, don't begin to think, well, it's because, you know, they're good Christians. God don't heal you because you're good. He heals you because he's good. Come on, help me. Help me. I don't think Jesus healed one Christian. That was all before the cross. All those miracles. You think of that. He healed them while they yet were because he yet loved them. So he don't heal you because you're good. He heals you because he's so good. And he wants to share his goodness with you. And sometimes you just get caught sideways into a way of thinking, as you know they were sharing earlier, just a way of thinking, Pastor George was sharing, into a way of thinking that isn't proper. And pretty soon, you just, you're, you're satisfied to be a spectator. You know, you come in hurting, you leave hurting, and you live hurting. Bones move. Disease leaves. Miracles are for real. Oh, did you hear what I just said? I said, come on, they are for real. I mean, just a snippet of my story healed of brain cancer at nine years old in the, in the late Catherine Kuhlman's ministry in Pittsburgh. I had three days to live. We couldn't get in the church. Church was packed. They had to carry me halfway because I couldn't walk. I was paralyzed on one side. I had a patch over my eye. And one of the hurt ushers saw us walking, almost walking away. We couldn't get in the building. And he saw my grandmother and he said, boom, come here. And they snuck me in the balcony. And I began to watch what I didn't see happening at our church. I'm not saying anything bad about our church. It was a great church. He was a good pastor. It's good people, good church. But I didn't see that. See, I like really good menus. Come on, somebody. I like... Every once in a while on the menu, you see something that says new beside it. Come on, new. Right? And I had never seen that. And while I was trying to figure it all out, my name was called, and not my name, she pointed to me and said, you're being healed of cancer. And I went down and stood in front of her. And when she touched me, four rows of people fell with me. Four rows. I thought I died that day. I thought I died. I couldn't get up. I just couldn't jump up. Don't fall to get up. Fall to get something. You know, don't just fall to fall. fall. Fall to get something. Sometimes he has to get you in that horizontal spot to talk to you. He can't catch you. He slays you to talk to you. Come on, say amen. amen. Or he slays you to heal you. If he, you don't have to be slayed. We know that. But you want to get like Jesus said, what, uh, that all righteousness might be fulfilled. He wanted everything, even to the point of having the Baptist baptize him. Come on, put your hands up and say, I want everything. I don't want to come behind in nothing. I'm here to pick it up, carry it, nurture it, walk in it, and begin to heal other people. I will be used in signs, wonders, and miracles. I'm getting a deposit and an impartation to be an impact person in these end times. Give him a mighty praise. Come on. Give him a mighty praise. Give him a mighty praise. Give him a mighty praise. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hallelujah.
you just go a cappello, a cappello quietly, hallelujah. Precious. Just the lady singing it. So beautiful. in this place big time. He's healing herniated disc right at this moment. Disc herniation. L4, L5. He's healing herniation of the disc. Come on, get out of your seat. Get to my left or my right quickly. He's healing herniated disc. There's COPD being touched right now. COPD being by the power of God, quickly. Hepatitis C being touched by the power of God, quickly. He's healing prostate cancer big time tonight. Prostate cancer big, big time. On my left or right, please, on my left or my right. Over here, please, over here. There's a man right now, if you'll reach down, you'll find out the hernia is gone. So come on, let me know, scream at me, say it's gone. Feel that, come on, feel, go where that hernia was, and t scream at me, it's gone. Where are you? Come to me quickly, hurry, come to me. Somebody better praise him. Oh my God. Come on, somebody. Right here. How long have you had that? About a year. A year, you had it a year. And you go to church where? Living Word Christian Center, Minneapolis. Living Word, Minneapolis, Minnesota. <laughs> Mac Hammond Ministries. Mac Hammond, Pastor Mac Hammond. Now you're here for all of the days. You're here for the whole weekend. Two. Two days. Yes. So you got your healing on the first day. <laughs> the power, power! Come on, somebody, give him a shout! That's not all you came for, but that's part of what you came for. There's other at ripples of glory going the whole way through your family. You are not alone, and they're not detached. Your whole family is coming in by the end of the year. Everybody's coming in. They're all coming in. Come on, give them a shout. Oh, my God. Oh, dear Jesus. Why are you here, ma'am? Why are you here? Quickly, why are you here? What's the matter? Bulging, bulging disc? Where are they right now? Are they barging, barging at the moment? They're not. What happened? She got, they disappeared. <laughs> they disappeared. What do you think of that? I think it's How many years did you have those? Since 93. Since 93. Diagnosed in 93. You know, the, heavy, the Holy Spirit has the heavy lifting here. He does the miracles, we praise. Figure that out. He does the miracles. Say, that's the heavy lifting. That's the heavy lifting. We praise. It'd be a bad day if we switched assignments. Come on, somebody. When God heals somebody, I mean to tell you, that atmosphere, 
cause the anointing to linger. It's in this building, it's over this property. 93 and they're gone. Mm-hmm. I believe so. I'm sorry, come over here. This I is amazing. Yeah. Where do you go to church? At um, Plainview First Assembly of God. Plainview First Assembly. Plainview, Texas. We're so glad you're here. Plainview. Thank you. I'm an e-member. You're a what? I'm an e-member. Wow. Yes, what are you here for? Um, my female problems. There's another man you're holding out on me with the hernia, and you let him come up and get that, but there's another man yet that hernia is leaving you even now. Who is this? Who is that? You? Who is that? Come on. What happened here? Yes, sir. What happened? How long you had that? I'd say about eight years. Eight, eight to ten years. years. Are you hearing all this? And yes, it just sir. left over there. It did. You called out the hernia and uh, say, and you told us to say it was gone and to check it, and it's gone. <laughs> Come on! Come on! Come on! God is good. You better praise him! Come on! Hallelujah! 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 That's amazing. It is. He's good. And you had it how many? Eight years. I'd say eight, eight to ten years. Yes, sir. See, the wonderful thing about miracle services, you get healed and keep your clothes on. <laughs> what? His honey is gone. Another one. Your honey is gone. Another one. Oh, there's something going on around here. How long have you had your hernia? Almost a year. Almost a year. And you, sir? About five years. Five years. And you checked it, yes, and it's not there. Yes, Yours was in the center of your navel. Umbilical hernia. Huh? Umbilical hernia. Umbilical hernia. Those are the hardest ones. And it's gone. It's gone. Amazing. See, the power's all over this guy here. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not just you have these issues, but it's the, the game the devil plays with your head. Come on, say it's the voice that shows up with the condition. I mean, the curse brings a package deal. The affliction and then the voice that says, hey, hey, hey. And it just belittles you, makes you afraid. Fear and the spirit of fear and the spirit of infirmity travel together. They're, they're, they're co-partners in crime. And, and I'm telling you, if, if the sickness doesn't keep you where you are, the fear of getting out of a wheelchair. If I ask you to walk away from a cane or a walker, it's because I believe you're being healed. You're here to, to expect that and believe that. Is that right? This here is amazing. It's the beginning of this great weekend. And why are you here, sir? You're helping. Yes. You're the pastor. <laughs> Ma'am, the power's all over you. Come here. The power's all over you. The power's all over you again. We just give God praise. Come on, young man. What's going on here? Hernia. 
Hernia and hernia where? L5 and discs. L4, L5? Disc, yes. You may be seated all over the house. You may be seated. L4, L5? Yes, and the hernias. Uh-huh. Got two hernias. Where are they at now? They're not there. They're not there? No. Two hernias left this man's body. <laughs> and your discs are where? Which ones? L5. L5. Two. So, so it hurt came in, coming in here tonight. Oh, yes, sir. Is it hurting now? It is not. It's not. No. Have you ever felt the power before? No. Never. <gasps> what do you think? Should he feel the power tonight? <laughs> power! Somebody give God a shout! My God! Oh! You know, we're going to move with a moderate speed. We're not going to run through the crowd. We're not here just to see people fall. I mean, falling is a part of it if that happens for you, but we're here to really see you and you shall recover. You say, but this is emotionalism. Well, I need a little bit of that too. <laughs> that's why people go to the movies and that's why they root for hockey and basketball and football. And they need a little emotional end point. I'd rather come to Eagle Mountain International Church. This is amazing. Don't you think so, ma'am? Yes. Why are you here, ma'am? I'm looking at you. Why are you here? Talk I, to me. I have um, ringing in my ears. Ringing. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> See, whenever some people, you know, some people Jesus didn't go to, they had to come to him. So you've got to be careful that all through your life, if you live long enough, he's going to do a myriad of ways in which he's going to heal you and strengthen you. He'll use the natural arm and the supernatural arm. And he'll use the gifts. He'll use the elders of the church. You know, I mean, he'll use all kinds of things. He'll use a you know, better way of living. He'll satisfy your mouth with good things, a lifestyle change. So we, we're, we, we sign up for whatever defeats the devil. But I would think that before you check out of here, you want to know what it's like to have the power of God move through you and pick up one of those stripes that was on his back. Come on, say amen. So you're ringing? How long have you been ringing like that? Uh, about a year, off and on. You know, oh, the power's all over you, lady. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know that. Yes. You feel the power? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's precious, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What are you standing talking to me here for? Just go. <laughs> It's yielding. People are in deep in bondage because they've yielded to something wrong. A wrong movie, they yielded to it. Wrong music, they yielded to it. Right? This is a yielding to the Holy Spirit. Come on, say the Holy Spirit. And if it's for real, the fruit will be there. That's what I love about this church, about KCM, about Kenneth and Gloria. It's got to be real. Come on, give God a big shot. It's got to be real. Come on, say, real people with real issues get real miracles. This lady's down here vibrating, shaking the whole place. Bless her heart. It's not her ears, it's her jaw. Her jaw's off kill. When the older you get, your bite changes. And it ch changes the muscle sometimes on the part of your ear here. And that's where a lot of the ringing or tinnitus comes from. So he's fixing her bite right now. I'm anxious to see her. Come on, bring her up, would you? No, power's all, oh, she can't get up. She can't get up. No, she can't get up. No, 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 don't do that. Don't hurt her. Don't do that. Wow. Well, do you know her name? Anybody know her name? Brenda? Can you hear me, Brenda? Can you hear me? Yeah. Still ringing? No. No. <laughs> Get her up. Get her up. We magnify. Come on. We magnify your name. Holy. Come on. We magnify. We magnify your name. Holy. 
this? What is this? Talk to me. What? You're so beautiful. <laughs> what? Billy, we blocked the spark and I want it gone. Tell me. What are you 23 fighting? brain tumors. 23 brain tumors. Shut out of my head. You saw the golf ball size tumor last time I saw you, uh -huh. like two years ago. Uh -huh. And they took me flight for life and told me to go die. They told and me in the very beginning, here. yes, four to six months, they'd said to me, and I'm here three years, and I'm done with cancer. Curse cancer! I fled the blood of Jesus over my surgery room. Nobody yeah. wanted to take out my tumor. They told me to go, yeah. go to hospice, and yeah. I said, I went to the surgery room. Yeah. A guy from Germany said he'd take it out in yeah. Colorado and Denver yeah. and Anschutz. And I did it, Billy. I had it taken out, pled the blood of Jesus in the surgery room. They all looked at me like I was nuts. So what are we facing here? How do you, when's the last time you had an x-ray blood test? When's the last time? CAT scan, what? I just had a CT scan on my body because it was everywhere. And? The minute they open up your head, it goes to your lymph system. Yeah. I had tumors sticking out everywhere. Yeah. But you know, I'm here. I see that. And I am not going anywhere. I love it. I'm not. I love it. The only reason we bring stories of other people to you or to any place is to let you know that what you may be fighting has already been defeated. The number one call we get in our office is ask Billy if he's ever seen anybody healed of Lou Gehrig's. How about Mongolia babies? Nobody ever calls and says, has he ever seen anybody healed of arthritis? Although that's very painful. That's nothing to be, that's no, that's no light thing. It's crippling. But there are things out there that have the word hopeless written over them. Pancreatic cancer, Alzheimer's. We had, a, we had a lady healed of Alzheimer's in Indiana. They brought her on Sunday morning. He said, you gotta help my wife. He said, we have to put stickies all over the house to remind her what room she's in. So she don't hurt herself. You're in the bathroom, you're in the bedroom. And then we put stickies in the kitchen. And he said, I can't do this anymore. Do you think I can get a miracle? They said, well, of course you can get a miracle. So we prayed for him on Sunday morning. He came back Sunday night and he said, I need help. I said, what's the matter? He said, she's remembering way too much. <laughs> That's the truth. Healed of Alzheimer's. You can't let the sentence of death stay on you. Come on, the Apostle Paul said, we had it in ourselves, but it got broke. It's possible to think that, and you remove yourself, you know, from the mainstream of the Scriptures. Whosoever. You have to put yourself in. You're going to make up your mind what you believe. You can't go too much further just on somebody else's belief. Who is the Lord to you? I think a book Kenneth wrote a ton of years ago, way back in the beginning, that book that I, I, I read some of that over and over, and that got inside of me. God made a covenant in the earth, and now he needs man to make his heart with that covenant. And a man that doesn't believe is a man without a covenant. 
So to be a believer, not have a covenant, an agreement, an idea of what God has for you. I don't know when he wrote that. That had to be early. And I grabbed a hold of that and thought, my God, I'm making up my mind right now. Even though I had been healed and had all that experience that I had, I had to make up my mind. Because you're always under assault. To doubt that what you're in can be changed. We've seen hair change colors, eyes change colors. I mean, some of the most amazing things we've seen. And you say, what does that got to do with anything? Whatever it takes to get people to believe. This is, this is amazing here. She's in a battle. So she decided to go to the healing meeting. Well, she decided a couple, and she's still here. Notice what she said, I'm still here. Come on, that's a fighter. Could this be her night? Could this be her moment? Quit comparing your miracle with other people's. What would you rather have, a Lazarus testimony or, or, a, or a withered hand testimony? Oh, I, I'm going to get you on this one. What would you rather have? What would you rather have? Oh, now that's, that's not fair. That's political, if any, I've ever heard political. See, we all want the great stories, but we don't want to experience anything to have those great stories. I only have a great story because I didn't ask for that. It, it, was, it, was, it came on me. It was afflicted. And I'm sure she didn't ask for that. Not, nobody wants these stories. But once you're in it, what a chance for God to do something so spectacular. Even if he just shakes your own family. Shakes your, up your church family. Ma'am, tonight, tumor by tumor begins to go away. <laughs> Snap, crackle, and pop. That mighty power. Come on, give God a shout. Oh, my God. Oh. How are we doing, sir? I've been told I should ask for a double portion of your anointing. You want a double portion of my anointing? I do, because I've been told I'm supposed to be part of that revival. You're, you are part of it. The anointing is not mine to give. You can get it here by pulling on it. The master is the one that gives that anointing. Get hungry for it. Yes. Position yourself. Be in these meetings. Get into the Sunday meetings. Okay. Get in front of the internet. People, you've got to put yourself in the line of fire. Amen. You can't lay in bed and say, I'm hungry, but I'm tired too. You can't do that. Come on, say, make up your mind. <laughs> get up and get food or go to sleep. Come on. You've got to get hungry. And you get hungry, and I'm telling you what, he will make sure that you get your portion. It's amazing. And Master, we ask you to give it to him. Give it to him. Give it to him. Come on, give God a big shout. Come on. Give me this lady in the purple. Come on, sweetheart. What's going on with you? Um, L4, L5, L3. Uh -huh. I'm just going to be free of pain, and I brought my husband here to be healed of a stroke, from a stroke. Where's he at? He's back there. In a wheelchair. He's in a wheelchair. Yes. Well, let's get you first. Yes. So where's your pain at? In the lower back. It's there now? It's leaving. It's leaving. Yes. <laughs> Glory to God, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. He's healing Glory Lyme's God. disease. Somebody with Lyme's disease. You're here with Lyme's disease being wonderfully healed tonight. Pain still there? Just a little bit, but it's leaving. Just a little bit, piquito. Yeah, it's leaving. Thank tell me, you, tell me when it's gone. Tell me when it's gone. Thank you, Jesus. But hurry up, because we've got a lot of work to do here. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. It's, it's gone. gone. Oh, my, it's gone. Power. Come on, give him a shout. Come on, church. What's going on here, sir? What, what? What's going on? I've got a, a head. Yeah. Bulging disc in my neck. And it's gone. And they wanted to do surgery. They wanted to do surgery. It was that bad. It was that bad. It was and bad. now it's it gone. Yes, sir. The heat. 
just, you the know. heat hit him. Well, I'm worried about this section over here. This section's really into it. Now, come on. If we have to get you seats to get you excited, tomorrow night we'll get you seats. There's things you can do that, what, that magnetizes the anointing to you. That makes the written word in you come alive. They both need what? Your faith. And if that faith isn't there, then he has meetings like this where you tap into the corporate faith. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Get what you can any way he brings it to you. And be thankful. And there'll be a time coming in your life if you grow in faith, you'll shake half the snakes off, if not all of them. He didn't bring the snake to church. He didn't bring the snake to the elders. He didn't say, I need a word about this snake. Come on, somebody. His faith had grown so much by that point, he was just shaking stuff off. Prison couldn't hold him. Prison couldn't hold the apostle. Do you hear me? He wasn't afraid of all of Rome and Caesar too. Come on, he was not afraid of them. He had shaken off all that fear. Come on, see, I'm shaking off the fear. Shaking off the fear. I'm a candidate, I'm a candidate. for the supernatural. For the supernatural. It's amazing. And his bulging discs are all gone. Are you married, sir? Yes, sir. Where's your wife at? She's 150 miles away. Oh, I see there. Because it's just the way the way I worked out today. Well, the way where's it that at? Out. 150 miles. Away. Uh, it's the other side of Kaufman. It's in <gasps> southeast of Dallas. I just ended up on this side of town. And uh, God told you me just to ended up on that side of town. At the end of this weekend, I mean, you're going to have to make some decisions because you're going to see it and see it and see it and see it and see it. And at the end of the day, you know, your eyes don't lie. You know, sometimes we're being so influenced by the wrong people. Well, you better be careful. You better watch out. All I know is I saw people getting healed. Yeah, well, that's what they all say. These people here are not under any witness protection program. <laughs> Meaning you can interview them out in the parking lot. You hear me? Sneak up on them and say, hey, was you really healed? We do that in our meetings. It's amazing the number of people that we'll bring up that don't believe. And they'll interview the people that were healed. We had this in New York, and a deaf man was healed, and, and a lady came up, and she said, I don't believe this. I said, well, come on up here, lady. Come on up here. And she came up, and she said, you know, D -d can you hear? And she looked up at him. He said, oh, my God, I can hear. He's crying. I mean, he would convince, you know. And she says, well, I don't know about this. <laughs> you know, after you see it. I mean, after you see it. And maybe that's part of the shock of it. It's just, see, we're not doing much here. I'm not doing hardly anything here. There's a greater presence in this. Come on, come on. Yes, hallelujah. He's doing all that heavy lifting. Come on, just say, I receive. It's already in me. He's in the room. The words in me. The, in the me. spirit's falling. Spirit is falling. This is the fixed fight. The fixed Devil fight. don't have a chance. Devil. Come on, give him a mighty shout. Oh my God. That mighty power. Oh my God. What's going on here with the cane? Come on over here, sir, with the cane. What's going on with the cane here? Where's that lady this morning? Was she here? Is she here tonight? That had uh, MS? She came in the staff meeting this morning. Is she here by chance? Is she in the back? Where are you, sweetheart? Is she here? I, the lights are kind of... Can you wave at me? Is she here? I don't see her. Wave. She had a mighty touch this morning. Is she here? The woman... I thought you said she was here. Oh, she, that's not her. Okay. Somebody had their hand up there. Sir, what's the matter here? Um, Pastor Council. Oh. Uh, they, gave me six, they gave me six months to live. Uh-huh. 
and I believe I'm healed. And uh, Bible said, so when did they give you six months? How long ago did they give you six months? About a month ago. A month ago. Yes. So you're on a five-month prediction from them, correct? Right. That's a five-month prophecy from the doctors, right? God we has know that's not going to happen. Yeah. yeah. He has a final word. So why are you on the cane? The cane, the prostate cancer is all the way down to my feet. The cancer is down to your feet. Well, I'm having problems walking because of uh, my feet. It's uh, all bundled up. That's before you came up here? No. Check them. Check them now. Still Check them. It's better. Huh? It's better. It's better. I know it's better. Walk back down. Come on, walk back there. Come on, let's go. Nothing is impossible. Come on, somebody. Somebody pray. So your feet, tell me about your feet. I can walk better. <laughs> Here's what I say, and this just phrase, Pastor George, this phrase just came to me. We were in Sarasota in a meeting, and this phrase came to me by the Holy Spirit. He said, if all disease begins with a symptom, then why can't a miracle begin with the absence of a symptom? Right. How's come if you get a symptom, you got something? How come when the symptom goes away, well, I don't know. I'm going to say that again. Because that's what, that's what may happen to you tonight. He expects you to run. You know, when the dove brought back the branch to the ark, he didn't bring back a big branch of confirmation. Because the beak of a dove is tiny. He brought back a snipping. And Noah stayed in the boat seven more days just with a branch. Seven more days with no change. Same animal, same smell. And all he had was a branch, a tiny little branch, to confirm that the waters had abated. Sometimes the best that God can give you is a little confirmation. A little symptom moving around. Something changing. Tonight we want you to look for anything. Anything that can happen to you. Anything. Um, four weeks ago in Toronto, I had never called this out. And after I called that out, I, I shook inside because I thought, oh Lord, I never, that, that word never entered my mind. He said, but he was removing scars from men. Physical scars were disappearing. I know sooner said that, I thought, oh, Jesus, I hope I heard you correctly on that one, you know. <laughs> well, one man who was a, a chief in Toronto Police Department, he was stabbed several times on Young Street. It's the longest street in the world, Young Street. And he had had uh, append appendectomy on this side and where, this, where the uh, scar was from the stabbing. He had to be 6'6", six, 6'5". Six, six, he was a huge man. And he got up to come up for prayer. said, no, no, don't come to me. You, don't come to me. Once it's called out, he's doing it. Just go to the men's room and check. His story is when he went into the men's room. Can you handle this, what I'm going to tell you? Yes. When he went into the men's room, he went to look. When he picked up his shirt, he watched the scar disappear in the mirror. Come on, say signs, wonders, healings, and miracles. If we can't get healed, how are we going to get into signs and wonders? Get stretched tonight. 
On the way home, look at your wife and say, you know, Mabel, I think you've been right all along. Get refilled. Maybe tonight you're here to pick up more. Where, do you want this? What, can you walk without it? I believe I can. You can. You don't want it. No. I don't know. You don't want it. No. So the cancer you've been fighting is how long? Since 96. Since 96. Yeah. He's kept you alive for this moment. Right. So your symptom of that is what? That makes you weak? Uh, having trouble urinating, having pain? No, uh, just in my, my lower back. What's going on there? Uh, the, the cancer is all over my, it's in my bones, and it's down to my, my lower back. So what's that, does it hurt? Uh, no. I believe I'm healed. I love people after they get that touch. Oh, my. They knew it all along. And it's true. It's true. He's removing everything. That mighty power of the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody give God a shout. Come on. Put that up. Put that up. In. Put your trust in God alone. And rest upon His word. Come on, everybody. What's happening here? What's happening here? I want my teeth back. I want my smile. You want your teeth Satan back? Satan has taken my smile away for too long, and it's done. I'm sorry. I didn't hear what you said. So you want her to go ahead of you? How? Huh? You want your? But you're you're not up here. Tell her she's going the wrong way. Yeah. Oh, my. OMG with this girl. Come on. Where are you from? Where are you from? California. Cal, there you go, right there. <laughs> you came here all the way from California. Yes, yes we did. Uh huh. And you're here awesome. for your teeth. Yes. You're here for more than that. Yes. Tell me about it. I have a motel and. Uh, uh, and, and Tell me why you're here more okay. than the teeth. Okay. I want, I want the, to carry the flame of revival back to the, my motel. I'm, de I'm devoting my motel to, uh, to, to a huge revival. And, um, you I want own, it to you be own a hotel? Extension. Yes, I do. You own a hotel in California? Yes. Where at in California? Um, eight miles outside of the Kings Canyon National Park where okay. the giant sequoia trees are. Uh -huh. And you're hungry for a move of God there? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I believe that we're going to be the, the California extension of the revival capital of the world. Oh. Come on, somebody! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yeah! <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I came to Europe last year for the Southwest Believers Convention, and I came to the church, you know, on the Sunday after the convention. Uh -huh. And I got a vision that I drew out of a, <laughs> yeah. of a huge salvation and healing revival happening there. Your name is higher. Get ready, yeah. <sighs> <laughs> See, see, come here. This is all part of what we're doing this weekend. It's not just, it's not just about getting healed. It's getting healed and the fire too. Come on.
See, God is, God is really frustrated. The Spirit's grieved that for years many come and get healed but get no more excited about the healer. He wants to wrap this things up. I mean, he wants to wrap up his plan of the ages. He's looking for some people that say, man, I'm healed. This payback time. Payback time. Oh, my. Mm. Put your hands up. You're going to get everything you came for, but the most important thing you're going to get is you're going to get a vision with details, and you will obey. I will. I'll be obedient. Yes. I'm telling you, you will obey. And, and there's going to be a, a, a small core that you begin with that the fire is going to fall on this small core in California. Right no. where you are. Do you hear me, lady? Yes, I do. Do you hear me? Yes, I do. Go back with the power. Come on, give him a shout. My God. Oh. Your name. Your name. Ooh. That's amazing right here. You got a cane too. What's the cane for? It helps me walk. <laughs> helps you walk. What's the matter? What's the matter? Just old. Just old? Just old. <laughs> <laughs> she said she wanted her teeth back. I want mine back, too. Well. <laughs> the devil told me, you're silly, don't go up Let's there. get rid of this. <laughs> Tell me about what you're shaking. Why are you shaking? You afraid? No. <laughs> are you nervous? I'm nervous. Why? You're nervous. Yes, I'm nervous. You feel the Holy Ghost. Oh, gosh. I, when he walked in here tonight, he was all over this place. And I, was to, I was about to come out of my seat. <laughs> you what? I said, I was about to come out of my seat, but I'm too old. So <laughs> There she said it again. <laughs> Would somebody said. tell her about Abraham and Sarah? Kids, no Sarah. I'm sorry? <laughs> I've raised my four kids, no Sarah. <laughs> Is your husband here? My husband died when my youngest child was two years old. Oh. Somebody asked me why I didn't marry again. I said I was too busy raising kids for the Lord. So I asked him one time why he gave me so many boys. And he said, I'm giving you men for my army in Jesus' name. Walk. Walk. I don't have any problem. Walk. Just, just walk. Just walk down the aisle, raising your hands. Come on, go. Go, girl, go. 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 You won't fall. Go. Steady on your feet, you will be. Amen. Steady on your feet. This fear is breaking tonight. That's what your enemy is. See, the yoke is not always the disease. If that was the case, he would say the anointing breaks the sick yoke or the disease yoke. He just said the yoke. You've got to find the yoke. You think if you have cancer, that's the yoke. No, if you have this, that's the yoke. The yoke is usually lies behind the disease. It's a habit. It's a voice. It's an attitude. It's a negativity. It's lack of the right information. You, you locate the yoke, I mean... That's why you praise him all the time, not just to adore him, but to put pressure on the yoke. Every time you sit here, you put pressure on the yoke. He's afraid you might hear that now word in season. And that's why God has moved in a prophetic movement, is to get people, just a word into you that can change the whole dynamic of your life. This is wonderful. I'm going to touch you. The fear is going to break off of you. You won't ever need this again. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands up. Master, I thank you. I give you praise. Break this torment. This torment. Let it come off her quickly. Quickly! Pow! Come on, somebody give him a shout! Hey! That's just as deadly as a cancer. 
Why? Because it restricts your whole life. Can't shop at night. Don't want to go down there because of this. Can't fly. Don't want to go swimming. Afraid of sharks. Someone told me I would never live in Florida. I said, why? I like Florida. There's alligators everywhere. I said, they are everywhere. They're in the toll booth. <laughs> They're running around the malls. It's amazing. The faith you have to use to avoid an alligator. Where did you ever get that warped conception? The alligators are everywhere. <laughs> you okay? You're doing a good job. Oh, this, what's going on here, ma'am? You got a, you got a boot on. What's wrong with your foot? Uh, I was dancing yeah. for the Lord and popped a bone. And then they found out I had degenerated joint disease in my foot. Help her out. You're dizzy. You're dizzy. Oh, boy, I'm going down. Oh! <laughs> See, really, really, the anointing is measured in weights. Like a weighty. Really, if you get hit the way he wants to hit you, why would he let you have a bad experience in the world where you were so drunk you were lost your mind or you couldn't find your way home, but you come in here and you get Holy Ghost light? Yeah. Revelation 3 says, ask of me for the fire to go through you. Ask of me and I will give you the refiner's fire. This is wonderful. What's, do you know her name? Do you know her name? Are you crying? <laughs> what? I'm sorry? You're what? I just been touched by the Holy Spirit here tonight. Oh, gosh. You're supposed to be taking notes. I know. I know. We're after real. Yes. <laughs> Revival broke out at the gate because they saw that a notable miracle. Yes. Yes. Not a lot of smoke. Yes. We're after you manifesting. Yes. Here or there on the way home. Yes. You're marinating in this tonight. Yes. Yes. You are marinating in this presence. There's going to be so many miracles here that we don't even know about. You're going to, we're counting on you to call them in and let us know what happened. Yeah, she's excited back here. Bring her up one, try one more time. I want to make sure she's blocking traffic really right here. Wow. You okay? Uh, no, I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> No, I'm done. I'm go ahead, just go. I'm going just go. Down. Just go. Just go. <laughs> Your name is higher than any other. Your name is Jesus. Your name is Lord. Your name is.
Tell me about the foot. You were telling me about the foot. Well, I was dancing uh-huh. bone. They came uh-huh. out and had degenerated bone disease along with Somebody the- came in passing blood. This is this is there's two men passing blood. And there's three ladies. There's five of you in the room here tonight. Five. Oh, wow. That you're passing blood. It's not normal. It's in your urine or your stool, and you're here. You get up here, the bleeding stops. Get up here. 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 Hurry. Power, hurry, hurry, hurry. The power, power, hurry. Hurry, hurry. Stay there, sir. Oh, that power, all oh, that power. Yes, it's mighty, that power. I said again. Your name. All oh, that power, all oh, the Holy Ghost. Oh. to leave Daystar oh. in about three minutes. Okay. And I just wanted to let them know we have a service tomorrow morning at 10, teaching, helping them to hold on to that healing, as well as tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, and then a Saturday, 10 in the morning, and 7 o'clock. Let's pray for our folks in Daystar. Holy Spirit, we thank you for this great, great ministry of Daystar. Thank you. We thank you for the favor between these ministries, for beaming up this signal to the world. Thank you, Jesus. And God, we ask now that you would send a blessing back into Marcus and Joni That's and the right. team. That's right. And God, that there would just continue to be waves of testimony, waves of glory. And let all of their needs be met according to your riches yes, and glory. Lord, thank you. For Come on, give them a big shout here tonight. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, the, you that had the bleeding, I want you to go to the men's room right somewhere and check right now. Go check. Right, are you going to go right now? No, sir, I'm good. What do you mean you're good? Do you, I want you to go. Me. I'm, I'm fine. I want you to come back and tell me he's not bleeding. I'm not, I'm not, huh? I'm not bleeding. I want you to go. Come on. <laughs> you better pray for me tomorrow, I'll tell you. What's here for? The, the bleeding. The bleeding. How long have you been bleeding? Uh, over a year. Over a year, and they tell you what? Uh, I haven't, don't have insurance that will. You what? Go. Don't have insurance that will cover the. So I haven't gotten a check. So. You haven't gotten a check. No. Does your wife know? Yes. And she says what? Uh, an idiot checked. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason why she's called to help me. There's a reason for that. She loves you. Yes, she does. Yeah. Fight something in seed form instead of tree form. Say that again. Fight something in seed form, early detection. Mm-hmm. You quit being afraid of diagnosis. Mm-hmm. Diagnosis just tells you where to aim your faith. Right. If they don't find anything, they don't find anything. If it shows up in the blood test, the doctor's not a liar. They operate in facts. We operate in truth. Yeah. The facts change, the truth never changes. But denial was in faith. David didn't say, I don't see Goliath. He saw him. He just saw a bigger God standing behind him. Your name is higher, we're singing it, than any other. Your name is 
Jesus. Don't be afraid. You're going to be amazed. It's not what you think it is. Mm-hmm. If, it w- if it was what you thought it was, you'd be way off worse than what you are. Mm-hmm. He has sustained you for this night. Amen. Be afraid no more. Power! Come on, somebody give God a big shout. Oh, my God! Your name is higher. Oh, I love it then. You going to check for me? Oh, well, the power's on him again. Get him. The power's on him. Your name is Your name is Jesus. But I. Stephen, what are you here for, sir? This afternoon. Uh huh. I used the restroom uh-huh. in the hotel. Uh huh. And there was blood in my stool. But I said to myself, I'm coming anyhow. God will take me. Was that the first time you saw it? Was it yes, this afternoon? Sir, this afternoon. Now think of this. How good is God? You get the condition and the healing on the same day. The older that I get, the more that I see, the more I just love the story behind the story. It's the story behind the story that really relates to all of us. We may not all ever get the same diseases, but the story behind the story touches us all. I, don't want, I didn't want to get checked. Well, you know what that's all about. That's about that fear again. Man, we, we, got, it, we got to begin to take it up, ratchet it up a level. The enemy knows his time is short. Revival capital of the world... Oh, you don't know what I'm saying. There's already a base going to start in California. Right there. Right there. Amazing. You'll have no more blood by tomorrow. There's nothing wrong. You have an infection. That's it. You do not have cancer. Look in my eyes. You do not have cancer. Amen. You have an infection. Thank you. You picked up an infection somewhere, but you don't have cancer. You bleed no more. You bleed in the power. Somebody give God a shout. Come on, church. What's going on here, sweetheart? What, 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 what? I've had blood in my stools, and I, uh, yesterday, I noticed that I didn't, and I was sitting in the chair, and you, before you said it, I was thinking about it, and just realized that I didn't have that in my stool, and I just realized that I should probably come up here and say something. And also, I've been blind out of my right eye since I was eight years old, oh. and <laughs> I... <laughs> what? You can't see anything? I started seeing light. Huh? And my eyes started tingling. Tonight. Tonight. Tonight? Yes. Yeah, she started yes. tonight. You're going to see my hand shaking. Power! Come on, somebody! Oh! Your name. Open up, open. You see that? You see that? You can see my finger. Huh? Look at my finger. You see that? Over here. By this eye? 
Open it up. You see light. Yes. And that came in tonight for the first time. Yes. Open it a little bit more. Can I open your eye a little bit? I'm going to get mascara on me here probably. <laughs> I'm going to just open your eye a little bit more. Hold on here. Look at me. What do you see? I just see light. You see light. Well, Tamar, you see images. Hallelujah. You hear me? Father God, yes. You get back yes. here tomorrow. This is amazing. It's wonderful. What's your name? Hannah. Hannah. Oh, that's a good name, Hannah. Give her a big God bless you. Come on. Your name is higher. What's this? You what? Bleeding. It's spotting. It's spotting no more. When a word is called out, it doesn't mean it's going to happen. It means it's happening. It's happening. Somebody's wearing a neck brace, but only at home. You're not wearing it out and about. You're wearing this for some kind of traction or some kind of therapy. This is a neck brace you wear out of the public eye. You're here tonight. To come and get this because you'll never need to wear a neck brace again. Who is this? Quickly, come to me. Who is this with the neck brace? Quickly. Who is this person with the brace? I'm over in this side of the church right here. Qu quickly. Where's the brace at? Come. Is that her coming? Somebody's pointing. Is it a, it's a man? It's a, it's a lady. Oh, oh, right here? Oh, is it you? You wear a brace at home? You do, but you don't have it on now. Why not? I try not to wear it in public. You try not to wear it in public. And why is that? You don't want people to see the brace. I wear it in public when it really bothers me. When it really bothers you. And how would you hurt your neck? I've done... You feel the power. Yeah, it's I've, wonderful. I've done... Uh, my, work is, my work has affected my whole body. And what kind of work do you do? I uh, cleaning service. You're a cleaning person. I have it in my neck. Is it hurting yeah. now? My neck? Yeah. No. What happened? <laughs> we don't give refunds here, by the way. <laughs> Just in case you're wondering, okay? No refunds here. Isn't this amazing? Yes. Yes. I think you could be a wild woman. I do think that. You know that. <laughs> you're so precious. You're so precious. My body's wearing out. Your body's wearing out. I, I don't want it to. What's that? I don't want it to. You don't want it to. So tell me what you would like. I like to be full of energy and be able full of energy. To do the activity. How about Deuteronomy 3325? Say that. Deuteronomy. I want to do the activity. Would you listen to me? Uh, do, do, <laughs> Deuteronomy 32. 33. Five. 33. 25. 25. Somebody write this down for her. Deuteronomy 33, 25. As my days, As my days so days. shall my strength be. So shall my strength be. That means as long as you're alive, no Alzheimer's. Yeah. Amen. No dementia. Amen. 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 You may get hit, but it won't stick. Yeah. I'm not saying you won't get attacked and you won't get, no, 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 no. That's why you have a shield. That's why you walk close to God. That's why you stand on these promises. I'm going to touch you. The power is going to go the whole way through you, lady. I mean, you might not sleep tonight. It's going to hit you that hard. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Are you sure? Power! Oh, my God. My. Could somebody give God a... Your name is Jesus. But I call you Lord. Amazing. I know there's people up there. I'm going to get them. I'm, 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 I'm allowed back here. <laughs> you okay, ma'am? You're not okay. What's the matter? I came for a miracle. You came for a miracle. What kind of miracle? I had all my lymph nodes taken out of my oh. leg uh -huh. uh, from cancer, but I never took chemo because 
glory to God, he healed me mm -hmm. um, of melanoma cancer. Mm -hmm. But Melanoma, after, mm -hmm, skin but cancer. I, uh -huh. But after four surgeries in my leg, mm -hmm. um, the swelling uh -huh. came. Uh-huh. So that leg's bigger and I than... And I believe for a creative miracle. Okay, that, so your, your left leg's bigger than your right leg. Yes. That's just for tonight. Yes, glory to God. <laughs> you're going to bed one way, you're going to wake up another way. <laughs> Come on, get up here. Get up here. Power! Going to bed one way. Is that your wife? That leg is going down. Oh my God. Amazing. The girl up here that could see, but see light. Nobody touched her. Nobody even prayed for her. Why? She's in this atmosphere. That's why you keep this atmosphere going when you leave here. What's the matter here, ma'am? You okay? What's the matter? Talk to me. No, I'm talking to this woman here. I, I, I've, ever since I was a child, I've had no central vision in my right eye. Well, come here. And since peripheral you was a, vision. You have what? You have double vision? What'd you say? Peripheral vision. Doctors say the optic nerve is dead. They the right said eye. that. And the peripheral vision is, is I've, both eyes have been affected. So you have no peripheral vision. Okay, well, let's get the peripheral vision and, then. And, and the central vision on this side. Center no. here, peripheral here. Yeah. And are you here for a miracle? Is that why you Yes, came? I'm here for a miracle. Where do you, I, I where, huh? tell the Lord, I'm, I'm not going back home the same way I came. Where's home at? Rome. Rome? Rome, Texas. Rome, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> not Rome, Italy, no. It's R-H-O-M-E. I always tell people. Oh, settle down. <laughs> I'm from Florida. I don't know all these state, cities. <laughs> See, I distinguish it by saying our home. You what? R and then H O M E. Yeah, I get it. So I it's get not. It. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Jesus. If you feel him moving all over this room, put your hand up. Come on, right now. Hurry. He's healing many of you in your seats. Thank you, Jesus. When we close tonight, we're having everybody at the altar. We're not done. Thank you. There's much yet to happen. But I want you to begin to pull them your way. There's many of you leaving here tonight healed. Yes. Yes. He's not yes. limited to my hands or my words. Amen. You pull on him right now. Pull on him right now. Just a mighty touch. Here comes your vision, ma'am. Here comes your vision. There's the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh, dear Jesus. Oh, my. Oh, my. Amazing, ma'am. Amazing, ma'am. It's amazing what he's doing here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He's reconstructing the rods and the cones in your eye. Thank you, Jesus. He's reconstructing these rods and these cones. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. She's under the power standing up. Seriously, I'm very serious. Here's an example of how that happens right here. She's, she's clueless that I'm even probably here. Maybe not. <laughs> Where are some of those men that went and checked? Where are you at? Did they come back? Yes. No bleeding. Come on, there had to be a half a dozen of you. Where's the other men at? Did they go? Yes. No bleeding. Come on, there's another one. I know there was a few more. Where, 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 where? Yes, sir. What? You better get over here. You better get over here now. What, what? Here's the man here. Oh my, the power's all over him. He can't even get here. He, 
Oh my. Did you get hit that hard? <laughs> Your name is Come on down in the other. Your name. Your name is Lord. Water, Rick. I need water. I need water bath. Your name. But I call you Stephen, Stephen Prescott. So you, you work for KCM, right? No. Why, why do you have a case? Oh, this is part of the conference. Yes, sir. Where do you live? In Cibolo, Texas. It's outside of San Antonio. Uh-huh. San Antonio, that's a good ways from here. A couple yes, hours, sir. right? You drove? Yes, sir, I did. How long are you staying? Until I leave Saturday morning to go back to my pastor. Uh-huh. Your pastor's here? No, sir. Oh. In, in Shorts, Texas. I'm the pastor of a church. You got, you got diagnosed and healed on the same day. Yes, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're going to pray for the sick and they're going to recover. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're going back a man on fire. Jesus. Hallelujah. So I have a request. Don't you ruin this story. No. I went up there and I got touched and it was better. I'm just glad. Don't you go back with no, no. excitement about this. No, sir. You will mess up the miracle. I don't plan to mess up. You arrive at that church of yours. What kind of church is it? It's a non-denominational Oh, church. uh-huh. Non-denominational. And the pastor's name? Myself, Stephen Pre Oh, you're the pastor? Yes, sir. <laughs> Somebody, your name is higher Come on! than any other. His name. Your Who's he talking to? <laughs> Excuse me, I got to go up here, Pastor. <laughs> but you know what I'm excited about? Knowing that you're the pastor. I'm on my way. <laughs> Pushy people. You okay, ma'am? Oh. How old are you? 18. 18. Come over here. You need this at 18. You know that. Because you're not a follower. You're a leader. Yes. Leadership is all over you. Yes. But they make tough calls. Yes. They don't go where the crowd goes. No. They go where the cloud goes. Yes. Wow. Yes. Come on, somebody give him the praise. What? Bring him up. Bring him up. My God, sir. Here I am. I'm here. What? Okay. <laughs> Speak your well, heart. 
2012, I had a major heart attack. They call it the Widowmaker. It kills 99% of the okay, people wh who Okay, what have. do you want to tell me? I'm bleeding. You're what? I'm bleeding. And I also work for KCM, I pioneer. <laughs> I help to pioneer this ministry. Pastor George, I know I have more stories about KCM that you'd like to know about it. No. I'll this, share with this, you. No, no, what I want you to do is this. How do you know you're still bleeding? I was. I, I had bleeding. You know, I had prostate, prostate problem. I had kidney Make cancer. up your mind to not fall under the power just to clean the carpet. Fall with purpose. I mean, the slaying power is real, but it's as real as you let it be. And if you mess that up because it's not real to you, then the devil starts to mention, well, neither this is real, and tongues isn't real, and this isn't real. And, and pretty soon you buy a lie. And he takes the thunder and the lightning right out of your life. Father, Son, Holy Ghost, written word, all your prophecies. You check. Before you say another word, you go to the men's room and you check for me. I had asked each man to do that. I want you to do that for me, okay? Sure. Is that a deal? Let me know. Go check real quick. Go ahead. We'll wait. We're not going anywhere for another couple hours, right? Right. <laughs> What's going on here? Give me this right here. What's this? What's this? Come to me with a boy. Come to me with a boy. How old is the boy? Six years old. What's the matter with him? He had type 1 diabetes. He was... Type 1 diabetes? diabetes. He was yes, born sir. that way. N no, he was just diagnosed last year. Uh-huh. So he takes the needle. Yeah, he's independent insulin, independent dependent insulin, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I, hear, I hear you. Yes. And if I hear you, imagine the master hears you. Listen, I know you've got other issues. I know that. But this, this is not one of them. Yeah, my husband is an alcoholic. He's a what? Alcoholic? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He beat me. He, he beat you? He me. Mm -hmm. He yelled at the kids mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He drinks so hard. Yeah. Even the neighbors, they call the cops on him multiple times. Yeah. And I don't... Does he know you're here? He dropped me off. He didn't he dropped want you to off come here. because he didn't want to get in touch. He said he, he didn't get want to get what? He don't want to get healed. He keeps praying for him. He don't want. Look at me. He's afraid of God. He's he afraid. is. He is He's far afraid. away from God. This I keep scares him. For him every day. Look at me. The change begins with you. <laughs> if you're gonna stay, if you're gonna stay in this, then you have to make up your mind. You're the one that changes. Yeah, right in front of him. Yeah. If you have to lock yourself in the bathroom to be a worshiper. Do you hear me? Yeah. You have to put your hands up in another part of the house. Look at me. You do that. Yeah. You could be the remnant that makes everything holy. <laughs> your boy's going to get healed tonight. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Here's one thing you don't have to worry about ever again. Lord, Lord, Lord. He's heard your cry. Yeah. No more type every one. Every day, every night. Touch. <laughs> oh, the boy fell under the power. Did you see that? He's under, he's out. The kid's out. Look at this, Pastor. Look at this. He's out. Look at that. Get the camera. That's why we should come just like that. You okay, boy? You comfortable? Yeah. How you feel? Dizzy. Dizzy. That's going around here tonight all over the place. How you doing? Dizzy. Well, you fell a half a dozen times. You can't get up. I can't get up. 
I forgot to tell you I have high blood pressure. The doctor told me that about six months ago. What's your numbers? 187 over something. And then the, the, <laughs> and, the, and, the, and the medication she gave me brought it down to about 155. And my head feels like it's going to blow up right now. <laughs> I forgot about it. I'm she sorry. I was nervous. That's all right. Praise the Lord. That's okay. Don't Jesus worry about it. Jesus is such a good Jesus. Ma'am. God loves us. You're going home different. No cane, nothing. <laughs> Praise you, Jesus. You don't need it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Can I throw away my pills? <laughs> don't throw away your bills. Pay your bills. <laughs> Where's this young girl here? What's going on, sweetheart? I'm actually here with my granny. You're who? My granny. Bring your granny to me. I love grandmothers. I'm here because of a believing grandmother, so I love grandmas. Yeah. Yes, what? I'm a believing granny. Okay. For sure. What's the matter, Mammy? Go to I have pain. pinched nerves in my back. Oh my. But you know, oh, come on over here. Come on over where the people can see you. Hey, you like that, buddy? Hey. You like that? Did that feel good? What'd that feel like? Do you know what it felt like? Whenever I fell down I like felt kind of dizzy. No. Did you feel anything in moving in you? Did you feel anything moving? What'd you feel? Like stuff like fixing my pancreas. Yes. What? Yeah. Yeah. My God! My God! Out of the mouths of babes! Never did that organ come out of my mouth. Never did that organ come out of my mouth. What's wrong with the granny? You got pinched nerves where? Pinched nerves in my back, lower back. How'd you do that? Well, I've had osteoarthritis all my oh, years. Oh, my. And I thought I'd take some yoga classes. Cause some I, what classes? Yoga classes. Yoga? Yeah, and I, it, there was you too, go. it was too hard for me. Too hard to I yoga. I think I aggravated my problem. If you meditate day and night, it won't hurt a thing. <laughs> meditate day and night on the, on, on the Lord's Word. Yeah, that's it. I love that. Yeah, I agree with that totally, 100%. But I have edema in my legs also. You got a what? Edema? Who, you ever heard oh, of edema? edema? Uh-huh. And that... I f <laughs> you heard... Check him. Check him and I'll, we could go check him now. Go check him. Have you had edema yet? Power! <laughs> Power! Bring her up. Come on, bring her up, guys, quickly. Come on, man. Give, give this lady some room. Walk. Just walk. Just walk. Go. I know you can walk, but walk without pain. Pick your legs up. March like a soldier. Come on, pick your legs up. March. Pick them up. Pick your knees up. March. Come on, hop, two, two, three, here we go. Hop, two. My God! Come on! No pain! No pain! Your, the Jesus healed your grandma. Well, that's great. <laughs> and now I got this. You got what? You know what this is. What is that? It's called RA, rheumatoid arthritis. Uh huh. It hurts? Very painful, yes. I it hurts. I can't make a fist and I can't do my work. Well, put your hands on my hands. Oh, yes. So it still hurts? You know, would you answer me? Does this it still doesn't hurt, hurt right uh, now? But, but when I make a fist, it will, you know? It why does. will it? Huh? Why will it? Who determines that? Get out of these precon pre preconceived notions. Yeah, I'm familiar with all of that. It's great. You've already come to a wrong conclusion. Mm. What conclusion you come to is the spiritual attract. The spirit attracts. If you come to a wrong conclusion, if you come that you're going to die, you'll attract death. That's why Jesus was upset whenever they came and said, Master, awake from the storm, we perish. 
he was more upset with the fact that they pre predetermined they were going to die. He's thinking, I'm on this ship. You're not going to die. Mm -hmm. But they had reached a conclusion. They were in the, the carnal ma'am. Ma'am, how's your hands now? I'm going to count to three. I want you to make a fist with which Were you right-handed? Mm -hmm. When I count to three, make a fist with your right hand. Okay? okay. When I count to three. One, two, three. That's three-fourths of the way. That's three-fourths. One, two, three. Oh, my. There's scleroderma on my Oh, I don't hands. care what's there. I'm not getting anything you got. Arms and hands. <laughs> You're not going to get it? Not what you got. It's I'm not, not getting contagious. what you got. Oh, I don't care what it is. I'm not getting it's anything. It's not contagious. Does it hurt? Uh-huh. Is it hurting now? It itches and it hurts. Yeah. Bless you, Lord. Look at me. You're a precious lady. Thank you, you are a precious, precious lady. Come on, somebody give him praise. Come on, all over the place. Come on, sir. What is this? Hurry up. You're here. What are you here for? I'm from Norway. You're what? From Norway. You're from Norway? Yeah. You came in for the meetings from Norway? Yeah. Uh-huh. Give him a God bless you. Come on, from Norway. Rick, you're blocking the people. You can't block the people. So what, what are you here for tonight? Uh, I've been uh, diagnosed for uh, cancer. Cancer? What kind of cancer? Prostate cancer. What kind? Prostate. Prostate? Yeah. Uh-huh. And um, a month ago, and um, I, the doctor will give me an um, uh, operation. Uh-huh. But I, I want to receive my healing uh -huh. instead. And I, I have received my healing by faith. By faith. There's going to be a power go through you. Holy Spirit power go through you. And just work alongside your faith tonight. You hear me? Every symptom is going to leave. Yeah. Thank you. Come on, say every symptom. Power! Wow! Come to me right over here, quickly. Come on, Grandma. What's your name? Shirley. Shirley? Holy. Who? Holy. What? Is somebody praying? What's going on here? She's falling to the... What's happened here? Okay, leave him there. That's good. Go ahead. You're good there. You're good there. Keep, keep your hand on him. It's good. I tell you, there's so much going on here. I can't wait to have you all at the altar here in a couple of minutes. So you, what's going on, ma'am? What's your name again? Shirley Holy. Thank you, I got it, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I, I know I'm a blonde, but I do get things quickly. <laughs> Dear Lord, where are you when I really need you with something? So what do we want to get here tonight, ma'am? What do we want to do? What do you need tonight, sweetheart? I can't talk. You can't talk. So what happened? Did you have a stroke? No. What happened? Why can't you talk? Devil. Devil. I'm going to touch you right here, okay? Okay. Okay? I'm going to release the power of the Holy Spirit, okay? Okay. He's going to go the whole way through you, okay? Okay. And you're going to be able to talk. Is that okay? Is that okay? Speech is his... Um... I'm sorry? Huh? You know her? But your mom, come and talk to me. She has aggressive nuclear severe poison. Well, she's about an aggressive miracle in a couple seconds. I here. agree. Her, her tongue, huh? her, her, her mind and her tongue are not on the same page. They're not meshed together like you and I talk together. She understands what you're saying, but she can't 
get the words out. Well, she will. Praise God. Power! Power of the Holy Ghost! Oh! Come on, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on. Come on. Your name is... It's all over you, ma'am. It's a power. Your name. Your name. Come on, come on. That name. That name. Oh, that's time. Oh. It's a power. It's all over you. It's all over you. It's all over you. It's all over you. Once again, you'll feel the moving of the breeze of heaven. Once again. Not just one more time, but once again. It's been absent for some time, but once again. A great season of the tangible glory. Somebody better give God a... Oh, my God. Oh, yes, ma'am. Quickly. Um, I have scoliosis, uh -huh. and my... Left hip is um, bone on bone. How crooked are you here. back here? Let me see. I don't know if you can tell. It's I don't down, want to look. I'm, I'm looking here. up here. Huh? D it's down here. Does it hurt? It always hurts. Always. I'm what do you mean always? I'm always in pain. Always? Uh, almost always. <laughs> How about now? Um, no. No. I'm a dancer and I can't dance. You're a dancer. Where do you dance at? I, I have, I'm a ballroom dancer. I teach dance. Ballroom dancer and you yeah. teach dance. Yeah. So tell me a move you can't do or couldn't do. I can't even walk upstairs without hurting. Let's go. Here we go. No pain. No pain. No. What do you think of that? I think that's amazing. <laughs> want me to try again? You what? I said you want me to try again. Try it again? Sure, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> touch. Oh, touch. Come on, somebody give me praise. What? I believe I am. No bleeding. No bleeding. The bleeding has stopped. Oh, somebody get happy. Wow. That man, wait a minute, that man that just came up to me. How long did you have that? One year and a half. Bleeding every day. Oh, yeah. Huh? What? What? The doctor said it was so bad that he should be emaciated. Yep, and not able to walk and just... The but, bleeding, the flow was so bad, is that right? Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Amazing. What do you think? What do you... you uh, 
you almost happy, you 10 miles uh, no, to no, go, I'm, 10 <laughs> miles to go or what? I don't know. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm really happy. <laughs> This is only night number one. Hey. But do not miss. Where's your Bible? Somebody show me, give me a Bible here. I know this is a, a word church. Tomorrow morning, when Pastor George and Terry, I think it's Pastor George tomorrow morning, correct? This, you got tonight, but this is how you keep it. Because anything you get through another person, the devil knows you didn't get it on your own. The gifts of the Spirit, you get healed by relay. It's different than a healing you get on your own. And so anything that you receive in a crowd and a gift, fantastic. I left Catherine Kuhlman, and I went home to a grandmother that scared the devil. <laughs> I figured out young in life, the devil didn't want any part of her. But everybody don't have that. Same people, some people go home into unbelief. They go home into not much. You need to be equipped. You can know all the healing verses and not get healed. Why is that? You can know all the money scriptures and not be rich. Why is that? Come and learn. Pastor George is one of the most absolute finest Bible teachers I know. I mean it. As a matter of fact, I never watch him on the broadcast or online and not learn something. I want to be a full-time learner. Come on, I want to add to what I already know. Take a break tomorrow morning. What is it, Friday morning, right? Come out Friday. Take a healing day. You take a sick day, take a healing day. Someone said, yeah, take a healing day, come out tomorrow morning and make it a weekend special. Yeah. This could be the weekend on God's celestial calendar. Yeah. That makes the difference for the rest of your life. Yeah. Do you hear me? If one day they doubted, threw them into 40 years of wondering, one day, one day sent them into 40 years of a curse then one day can turn it around. Yeah. You doing okay? Yeah. What, you're crying. No, what, your grandmother got healed. <laughs> it's not her, it's me. What's the problem? I have so much fear every day. You have what? Fear. I I'm, live with OCDs. You live what? OCDs. OCD? And I'm admetophobic, which is the fear of vomiting. And the fear of what? Vomiting, and I have acid reflex. Get up here. <laughs> Get up here. Now, see, this is exactly what we're expecting for these next few days. She was touched probably a half an hour ago, 40 minutes ago. The, the anointing will get in there and hit you like he is. To, you'll, kind of, you'll bring things to surface. I didn't even come for me. I came for my grandma. But she got healed. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, how about you? You got this vomiting thing. Yeah. Where do you go to church? Uh, Gateway Church in South Lake. Uh, we're, just, we're glad you made it here tonight. You won't vomit anymore. There'll be no strong drink touch your mouth, no drugs touch your veins. And you'll be kept until you meet your Boaz. Somebody better. Power. Come on, give him a shout. What's the matter? Uh, I'm undergoing 48 radiation treatments, six months. 48 radiation? Yes, six months of hormone therapy. And believe me, now I have great respect for the women who have hot flashes. <laughs> <laughs> no more interviews tonight. 
What, 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 so the cancer uh, is? My uh, latest scan has shown some bone spattering. Uh-huh. And, uh, but I don't believe that. I believe, I don't go by what I see. Tonight you'll have something more, another handle to hold on to. Because there's a presence that's greater than radiation. See, that's where the fire of God comes in because they radiate because cancer cannot grow in heat. That's the way they use radiation. So if you get on fire for Jesus, you get that burning, yearning, churning going on the inside of you. Get on fire and the fire takes care of anything coming. That's why you build a fire in the woods. That's why in 9-11, they jumped out of the building instead of go by way of fire. There's something about fire. And God says, I just want to put that stuff in your bones the way it was in Jeremiah's bones. Get ready. We're coming up front here in a second, sir. Put your hands up. Holy Ghost, we thank you for this wonderful, wonderful man. Mm. Put the fire all through him. And let him know that he knows He's radiated for the last time. Power! Oh, my God. There's people getting hit very heavy tonight. Yes, what's this? 2015, I was diagnosed with lung cancer. Lung cancer. And COPD. Mm -hmm. And the way they found it, I had my back x-rayed. Right. Crushed vertebrae. And and there was a tumor there. I just felt the power hit you. I just felt it. Did you feel that? I just felt it hit you. It is. It's over. Do you hear what I said? New lung. <laughs> Cancel every death plan. Get back to dreaming. Come on. Somebody give God a shout. Come on. Your name. I call you Lord. Yes, ma'am. What's this? Um, it's for my, it's my disc. Lower. Growth under the arm. There's a growth under the arm. It's leaving. Who is this? You came in with this growth underneath your arm. It's leaving right now. Who is this? Just put your hand. Check it. Hurry. Who is this? Come on. Yell out. I can't see across the whole room here. It's almost like a fatty tumor, a swelling of some kind. Who is this? Gone? Still there. Gone? Gone. I think it's smaller. Smaller. Amen. Gone. Gone. Oh my God, it's gone. It's leaving power. Tell me, where was this? X was right here. What do you mean it was right there? <laughs> you ought to be telling me the truth, and you're in church now. You know that. <laughs> it was right there. What? It was very painful. How big was it? Um, it was affecting my whole How side. How big was it? It was thick. Now, put those that people see that. How big was thick. it? It was thick, right on the... On Dear God, the that's line. bigger than a softball. Yeah, it was. This was. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> How are we going to have revival if you're tired at 10 o'clock? Come on. The thing left her arm. Can somebody praise him tonight? Are you Okay. 
You okay? Wait, that, where'd that girl go? To? I didn't tell her to go back to her seat. Where'd she go? No, no, no. The, no, not that girl. The girl over here. Yeah, you. Come here. Oh, you're feeling a testimony card. Come here. <laughs> so where do you go to church? I have a ministry. It's called Covenant Rest Ministry. Covenant Rest. Yes, sir. Okay. What do you do? I teach Bible study to people that God told me. Uh-oh. <laughs> Come on. Come. People are tired they want to bring them to the rest. They have so much bad work. Mm. So much. It just pleases me. Yeah. There's no manifestation. Mm. They love God. Pastor George, Pastor Terry, are you here? Are you here? This is part of this whole move right here. People coming in here are going to get a deposit and go add to what they're doing. He's, there's a thing that's called healing your life, healing your vision, empowering you. Look at me. You're going to continue to do what you do with better results. You remember this night. You're getting some of what's in this atmosphere. You're going home with a boatload. Somebody give him a shout. Come on. My God. What's going on here? Um, you called me. What's the matter? <laughs> um, I have an uh, injury, uh, car injury a year ago. Your car uh, injury? And two torn rotated cup, but that was yeah. sealed. Now I had a, here, I get a vertigo, like I just. You get vertigo, you get dizzy. Very dizzy, it's like a spin. Oh, you're the husband? Yes, that's yes, my husband. And. Um, Where are you guys from? Where are you from? From India. India. Uh, my niece is the one introduced you to me. Oh. He lives in Florida. She lives in Florida. Oh, okay. And we are your partners. You're a partner? Yes. Oh, great. Of course. And the uh, doctor says I have some problem because of the blood pressure medicines causing her problem too. And I, causing the like, slight deafness in my ear. So So you have a slight deafness in the ear and you got the issues with the... Uh, heart. Uh, palpitation. Like a palpitation, heart arrhythmia, atrial fib. Very that, slow uh -huh. heart rate. Mm -hmm. Because all this... Uh, and uh, I get very dizzy. The mm -hmm. dizziness is gone, but it's spinning. And I, mm -hmm. that's why you wear the braces at home. I didn't I'm so glad it. you're here. Thank you. Thank you. We've been praying for your watching. And we, oh, we thank, you. thank you. Isn't this a wonderful place right here? Yes. We support Kenneth Hewlin too. You what? Uh, Kenneth Copeland. Oh, isn't he amazing? Isn't he amazing? Yes, He's amazing. Yes. And Gloria too. Don't forget Gloria. Gloria yes. too, yeah. <laughs> You're the neck brace person? Yes. yes. I'm the one. You called me. She wears at home. You wear it at home? Yes. I wear it at home. I didn't want to come with the neck brace because I want to be healed. And you have a, you have a breathing uh, oxygen here. Yes. <laughs> Let's get rid of it. Get up here. Hurry up. Get up here. <laughs> This mighty power coming on the power, Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody give God a shout. Somebody give him praise. Somebody give him a shout. Power. Wow. That was a wow. <laughs> Take it off. Take it Who are you, the daughter? Yep. Back healed. Yeah. Here, give me the give me the machine. Just walk over there. Come on. It feels pretty wet. Yep, pretty good. You're getting breath down here, aren't you? Uh huh. Well, I'm sorry. That's the first time in years she's been able to breathe freely like that. She's had to have that thing 24-7. And now she's not no more. She's free of that. Because her lungs have been restored. They've been what? Her lungs have been restored. Uh-huh. How long do you have this? How long have you been using this? Um...
I want you to go out. I, want you to, I don't want you to go home tonight. I don't want you to go to Walmart or somewhere that's open all night and buy her sheets, striped sheets, all stripes. I want her sleeping on stripes tonight. Okay. Okay? Yeah. All right. All right. All right. You hear me? Do it. Yeah. We both have back issues, too. Would you listen to me? Yes. I'll, this we'll is my service, not yours, okay? Okay. And I will obey. <laughs> You're going to lay on these sheets tonight. They're going to be striped. Is that right, daughter? Yes, sir. Okay. You're going to lay on these sheets tonight, and this here is going to be broken over you. You may, okay. you may have to use it intermittently. Okay. We're not, we're not trying to get you to do something yeah. you're not ready for. But he's touched you. Mm -hmm. But we have to make a move towards making it complete. Okay. Come on, say, there's the healing touch. <laughs> and then there's healed. The only way you don't get healed after a touch is you just check out of it. You nurture what you leave here with. The anointing needs nurtured. You're after a healing. God's after you. You're after money, God's after you. Let him catch you, you get the money and the healing. Come on. Come on. Amazing. Where'd that woman go? You okay? Do you need it right now? No. No? Uh -uh. No. No. You breathing good? Yeah. Yeah. But I want my back healed. Would you get up here? Hurry up, my God. What's wrong with your back? Uh, bulging discs, L4 and L5. Where does it hurt right now, though? My lower back. You check it. In my check it. Would you check? Yes. Would you check? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, what? It's, it's still. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. What, hurts? Yeah. I'm going to put my hand right back here, okay? Okay. You lean into my hand. No, lean into my hand back here. There you go. <laughs> what? What happened? Well, it's still here. The pain's still there? The pain's still uh -huh. there. Okay. But, uh, looks like she's breathing a whole lot better. Don't it look like she's breathing? You know what I think tonight? I think he wants you to rejoice in the breathing miracle. Okay. And build your faith for the back miracle. Okay. Okay? So okay. do what I said. Get the sheets. You're going to be here tomorrow? Mm -hmm. I'm anxious to hear tomorrow. Yeah. About the night on the striped sheets. Yeah. <laughs> okay? Give her a big God bless you. Come on. <laughs> quickly! Quickly! What, 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 what? Um, I had uh, surgery in 91 for a ruptured disc. For what? A, a ruptured disc. Uh huh. And it's just been sensitive ever since. But I'm also here for gallstones, and I want to pray for my left ankle. It's been What's wrong with your left ankle? I had a motorcycle accident. It's got uh -huh. four screws in it. How many gallstones do you have? I think two. Is that what they told you? I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they hurt? The gallstones? Uh huh. Um, no, it's mostly the ankle and the back. Look at me. He's realigning your life. He's, he's removing some people. Leave them do it. There's some bad influences in your circle. It's putting out your light. Every time you light the candle, they blow it out. Let's get this thing moving. You're a great girl. God's got a plan for you. Come on, somebody. Get, oh, Jesus. Wow. Come on, lady, hurry up. The power's on this woman. My God, slow down, dear Jesus. What, what, what? I said, hurry up, and then I said, slow down. <laughs> you heard that, didn't you? Did you hear that? That's why I need the anointing, see, to do that. What's happened, ma'am? The L4 and 5 thing I've had for years, and I couldn't even stand up here for as long as I did. No. The reason I kept standing was yeah. to be sure that it was there and it's real. Yeah. And I'm supposed to go tomorrow for, for what? treatment. For what? And I'm thinking, why should I? Because it's, it's not there. It's not there. <laughs> Come on, give me all the praise. Move it around. Do 
something you couldn't do. Come on, get it on the move. Get it on the move. It's gone. She had a fatty tumor over here where? Underneath my arm. Underneath her arm. Earlier and it's gone. I had it. Rewind forever. an hour ago. Come on, somebody. Listen to me. I had it there for a long time. I How? never, it never, I really never it bothered me, but I knew it was there. And then I just and tried it's just to find left. it. And it's just left. So you should never struggle again with acceptance <laughs> in who you are. Because people that planted bad seed, they've destroyed you. They've tried to destroy you. They've still stolen your seat of honor. And tonight God says, hey, I'm taking that away. Honor, value, coming back to your house. Turn around, face this crowd, say, I'm special. I'm special. I'm special. No, put, I'm, come on. Special. Come on. I'm special. <laughs> special. Power. Where's the catchers at that time? My boy. You gotta move around there, big boy. Isn't that amazing? She can't even get up. Grateful tonight. What does God have in store for tomorrow morning? How many is coming to the teaching tomorrow morning? Let me see, teaching tomorrow morning. Oh, fantastic. How many is taking the grand tour? Uh-huh. Tomorrow night, how many is coming tomorrow night? How many is moving to Fort Worth? Anybody moving to Fort Worth? <laughs> Don't you laugh. Don't, that's what's happening. People are relocating to the well that's drawing them. Amen. Let's bring her up one more time, quickly. Oh. Wow. I've been struggling with that for a long time. When people try to kill me. They kill destroy you. Me. Destroy you. Mm -hmm. But God. But God. But God. Oh my God. Mm. It's just amazing. And it's just amazing for you too. I received all of that. What you were saying about the teeth and about the healing. You're taking finances, other people's words everything. too. Yes, Dear I am. God. That's what we're supposed to do. Really? Just receive Who it all. You Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. But yes, you're, I you do. Know, you're taking your word, her word, and their word. The Lord has enough for us all. <laughs> what do you think of that? What do you think of that? Awesome. Awesome. How about you guys? What do you think of that? Yeah, awesome. Man? Yes. Yes. How about you guys? You guys together right here? Who are you with? Who are you with? And who are you with? Two single people, right? Come up here, both of you single people. Come up here. They need, they need help. Both of these people need help. You get them up here. Come on, hurry up. Come on. He's healing cancer. Before we leave, then we're going to pray for cancer tonight. Yes. This is amazing here. You're here from where? I live here. You Fort live Worth. here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And you? Uh, south of Kansas City. South of where? Kansas City. So how'd you guys end up sitting right there? Uh, I have no idea. I, I think it's because we showed up at the same time and those seats were available and then, you know, we're here. Do you know her? Uh, actually, no, I don't. We just kind of met. I've seen her and the other couple she's with uh, at the Victory uh, Campaign down in Branson. Uh -huh. So, we just, I guess, kind of happened to recognize them when I was there and just, you know, you see people. So, I've seen you on TV too, so that's how I recognize you too. Yeah. <laughs> He has been all over this room tonight. 
I want you to do yourself a big favor and, and us here a favor. When you go home tonight, check wherever you have to check. You're going to find out that God touched you in this meeting. Yes. Sitting where you sit. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Like I said, we're not done. We're going to have one more altar call in just a moment. I just think this is interesting here. I'm going to put this in the interesting category. <laughs> and we'll see where interesting goes. Awesome. Okay. Say interesting. 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 Very. Touch. <laughs> wow. Sit together, slain together. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. I'm getting ready to quit. Come on. We've got to end this pretty soon because we've got to bring you back in the morning. Yes. I'm what? here for healing. What? Fear. Healing of what? Fear. What's the matter? Just fear of things. Huh? Just fear. Do you know that the more word you get in you, it'll drive out that fear? Yes, I know that. Do you I know that? I receive it. I receive it. If you start confessing, what, 2 Timothy 1, 7? Yes. The Lord hasn't given me a spirit of fear. But of a sound mind. Right. Righteous or bold as a lion, no weapon formed. You know all those, right? Yes. Speak it and speak it and speak it and speak it and speak it. Come on, say David's words. David's words. Hit the giant before the stone did. Long before the stone hit, his words hit. Don't underestimate those words. You hear me? Who's with you? Who, who, who's? Come on, sister, hurry up. What's wrong with your sister? Uh, liver cancer. And what? Bone cancer. What? In uh, lymphedema because of lymph nodes. You have edema in the arm? Lymphedema, uh -huh. yes. So it's swollen? Yes. That lady that had the swollen leg, quickly, where are you? The lady that had the swollen leg. How is that? It feels great. Is it, is it going down? It is? Get up here. Oh, my God. He looked the same. Look at, huh? Thank Rick. you, Jesus. I see it. The discomfort's gone. The what? The discomfort. It's d discomfort. The discomfort. Mm -hmm. Where's the husband at? Come on, husband. Come on. Let's go. You know these legs better than anybody in here. Come on. <laughs> look at her legs. Look, look. Don't, isn't that pretty close? Yes, sir. You want to know what happened to her? She had stage four cancer in the death sentence and she went through about we went through about two years and four surgeries she never had any chemo and they took out her lymph nodes so she doesn't get she wears compression hose and her legs get big her leg is on one side okay it was a busy two years hey, but, but now though yeah Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. It's, it's great. <laughs> wow. It's a night I'll never forget. It's what? It's a night I'll never forget. Even when I depart, I'll never forget tonight. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about right there. That's amazing. That's amazing, both of you. And you're, you live where again? Odessa, Texas. Yeah. So you made a journey here to be in the meetings. Well, yes, you're here all weekend? Yes, sir. You're leaving with more than this. Oh, glory. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> you're starting to cry. You are starting to cry. Yeah, I'm a baby. <laughs> I'm having a good time, too. We're, we're not used to... I sure hope we're not on BVON. Oh. <laughs> too late! Someone say, too late! Thank you. Thank you, Lauren. You are precious. 
first thing I got here, I bought the the MP3, the MP, the MP4, you know, the video. Mm -hmm. It was a great choice. Precious, just precious. We love this ministry. I mean, we love, we're partners. We love Kenneth Copeland. We love everything about it. The everything we've ever seen here, we love. It's an honor to be here. You're shaking. Yes, sir. Well, you've had to lay aside some dreams with this. You've had yes. to put, huh? Come here. You've had to lay aside some dreams. You've had to almost forget about what you yes. wanted to do, what God wanted to do with your life. Yes. <laughs> That's about to change. Oh. There goes the power. There's the power. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Wow. 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 I got a question for all of you tonight. How are you going to sleep tonight? <laughs> come on, let's all stand to our feet. Everybody to the altar, quickly, come on. Let's just gather up here as we can quickly. Fill the aisleways. Just leave your chair. Amazing. Sir, you come. What's happening here? Oh, what's these two girls want? Bring them up here. What's going on here, sweetheart? What do you need? Your eyesight is poor. How about you? I need emotional healing. And you need an emotional healing. Okay, and you, sweetheart? Um, I have a lot of burden on me from my past, and I want it to be. You completely have a lot of what? Burden. From where? From my past, and I want it to be completely removed. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't want it on me. I don't want to have burden. You have burdens from your past. How old are you? Nine. There you go. Amazing. And your eyes are you have bad eyes? How bad? It's blurry. Is it blurry now? Huh? Sort of. What do you mean, sort of? It's kind of blurry. Blurry now? No. What do you mean, no? I can see. It's not blurry no more? No. Is it blurry now? No. Are you sure? Yeah. It's clear? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, somebody give God a shout. And he walks, and he walks with me, and he talks with me. Come on, and he tells me, and he tells me I am his own. And the joy, and the joy we share as we tell. all over the place tonight it wouldn't be right to leave this room without making Jesus the Lord of your life what he brings to your life you can find nowhere else there's no relationship there's no amount of success 
There's no religious structure that can give you what Jesus the Christ can give you. Sometimes you can't go by other people who don't bear the fruit that they should. It doesn't have to be that way for you. You will have what you believe for. You will receive what you contend for. There's so much here tonight. I am overwhelmed at the presence of God tonight. I am overwhelmed. There were words coming through me. I couldn't get to them fast enough. So I leave you with the Holy Spirit tonight on the way home, at home. Let this be the beginning of a new season for you. Why not you? Why not right now? Here's a young girl here, nine, nine years old, wants to get rid of the pain of her past. Nine years old. Oh, my. If she has enough sense at nine to have that cleansing stream, why not you? Why not right now? I'm going to pray. Put your hands up. I'm going to pray. I want you to pray with me. Say, Dear Holy Spirit. Go through me tonight with the refiner's fire. Burn everything out of me that I can't do myself. Leave the portion for me that I can overcome. You promised I would not be put above that which I'm able to bear, but you'd give me a way of escape. Let the fire flow through me. Let there be a level playing field. And let me king down the giant. Take the head off and celebrate a new day. Take over my life, Jesus. There's nobody like you. I accept you tonight in a way I've never known. Let this be a new season. Following you. Walking with you. Learning about you. I receive the Lord Jesus. And I'm going to learn about him through his commandments. I give God praise. Come on, give it to him. Come on, give it to him.